The U.S. Capitol Visitor Center was crowded with spring tourists, many of them children, when a man pulled a handgun this afternoon. A police officer opened fire and wounded the gunman before he could get off a shot. The suspect is in surgery, under the knife, and under arrest. Chris Van Cleve is at the Capitol. Panicked congressional staffers and tourists fled the U.S. Capitol after reports of gunshots in the visitor center. Lynn Sines and his family were about to take a tour. Basically, all we heard was the uh, Capitol Police saying, down, down, down. And so we all dropped down. And the shooting happened just after 2.30 p.m. at a security checkpoint staffed by Capitol Police, Chief Matthew Verderosa. The individual drew what appeared to be a weapon and pointed it at officers. An officer fired and struck the suspect who was subsequently treated by medical personnel. Sources tell CBS News the suspect is 66-year-old Larry Dawson, a man described as familiar with the Capitol and known to law enforcement here. A man with the same name was taken into custody in October for causing a disturbance in the House chamber, shouting, I'm a prophet of God. <laughs> Dawson was charged with unlawful conduct on Capitol grounds. A warrant was issued for his arrest after he failed to show up for a hearing. So far, investigators have found no ties to any terror groups. There is no reason to believe that this is anything more than a criminal act. A woman, a bystander, suffered minor injuries. Dawson's wounds required surgery. Scott, the visitor's center was built in part to keep an active shooter out of the Capitol itself. That came after a 1998 shooting that killed two Capitol police officers. Chris Van Cleve at the Capitol tonight. Chris, thank you.